mom would try to scratch me in the face every time she got mad at me because she always wanted to mess my face up it was a monday morning and i had to go to school that day and i remember i told my mom that i can't feed you right now because i'm already running late for school i walked to school by the way and there was no way nobody was going to take me because everybody in the house was working or my mom just didn't want to get up and take me so she told me she was like no make me some food before you leave and i said i can't make you food because i have to get to school if i am late again i'm going to get in trouble and then you're going to yell at me which i didn't understand because i'm like you get mad at me for missing school but you're the reason why i miss school it was cold as that day it was like 55 degrees in florida and i was like damn that's really cold and i had just took a shower and i didn't know it was that cold because the house had heat at the time so i walked down the stairs and i told her i'm like ma i can't feed you i have to go to school she said i don't care you better make me something to eat before you leave i decided whether i should go to school or whether i can take the repercussions when i get home you know what i decided i took the repercussions to, um when i got home so i'm having fun in school all day but you know what the one thing my mom always did she always scared me she tried to scare me and leave me with that fear all day so she called the school because at the time i didn't have a cell phone she calls the school and she was like let me talk to my daughter and they brought me up they called me they was like oh come so and so and i was like okay i went over there my mom had told they was like give me the phone oh it's your mom on the phone i thought something bad had happened she was like no so i'm on the phone i'm like hello she was like you know you didn't make me food this morning you know since you didn't make me food this morning you're gonna see when i get home those words alone literally put fear into my soul where it literally gave me chills all over my body i don't know why and i was just thinking about it the whole day like what is she going to do to me what can she possibly do like is she gonna kick me out is she gonna beat me to death like what is it anyways she as soon as i got off from school i did not want to walk home so i kind of was like walking really slowly and i finally made it there like three to four minutes like after i should i don't see my mom i just see my brother my sister and my baby cousin so since i didn't see her i kind of calmed down a little bit because i'm like if i get to her first she's not going to do anything so next thing i know i turn to my right and my face automatically feels like it's on fire and i'm like what the is that come to find out my mom literally had just scratched me with like alcohol in her fingers because supposedly she was cleaning her nails and she was like <sighs> she smacked me in the face but she scratched me at the same time and i just had like four or five like little scars like little scratches going down my face like if a cat scratched me and i was just like ah ah i kind of fell down to the floor and i started screaming and kicking and my mom was like didn't i tell you and then she started hitting me on my body she was like didn't i tell you but because i was covering my face whenever i flipped over she started like kind of hitting me right here in my face and my chin mold my mouth and my chin didn't i tell you to feed me before you left didn't i tell you to feed me before you left and i was screaming in pain because i'm like it's, if you get a scratch and you put alcohol in it doesn't it burn exactly so i'm thinking like what the your problem like i screamed at my mom i was like my face is on fire like it hurts and she was like that's not my problem it's not my problem so then my what did my i think my aunt or my uncle came in the house and my mom kind of like snapped out of it she was like oh my gosh what happened to your face go wash it so i go upstairs and i wash my face and i have scratches like from this part of my ear all the way to this part it looked nasty it literally looked like i got in a fight with a cat and my mom was like she came up the stairs and she went into the bathroom with me and she was helping me this this is what i didn't understand my mom was so manipulative in her emotions she was like why why are you like always doing this why are you making me do this trying to manipulate me maybe think it's my fault and it's not my fault but i thought it was and i'm like mom i'm sorry i didn't feed you this morning i was running late for school and she was like i didn't know that you was running late for school because if i would have known then i would have took you to school i was like oh well i i did tell you and she was like no you didn't so she was helping me clean it but she was doing it so roughly and i remember that i kind of just sat there and i was thinking like ma do, do you feel bad that you did this to my face and she was like no because i wish i would have got more hits on you i said what what did you just tell me and she was like yeah i wish i would have got more hits on you i said okay um I didn't mean to not cook you breakfast. Oh, hold on. I'm fine. I did not mean to. I was like, I didn't mean to not cook you food. And she was like, no, because the next time you do this, it's going to be worse. And I'm like, okay. And I believed her because when she just scratched me in my face like that, I did not think that a person or a mother could be capable of that. And the fact that she was, it literally broke my heart. Who's blocking certain websites at school makes me so frustrated because if you've ever been to a public school, you know what I'm talking about, right? Because you'll look up a certain game to play during class or whatever, and it's like blocked. And then I'll look up ungame, unblocked games, blocked again. I'm like, what? And then sometimes schools will even track what I'm doing. Like I had this app called Go Guardian that was automatically installed on my Chromebook. And literally the teacher could take control over my Chromebook. Like I could see another mouse like going around on my Chromebook. I'm like, what the heck? And sometimes she would like click on certain tabs that she wanted me to get back to work. And I was like, lady, I'm doing research for the work you're doing. Like it's unbelievable. I was talking to my cousin 
the other day. He was saying that certain images even got blocked at his school. He was looking up a picture of a basketball, and literally there was X's over basketballs. So he's like, I, I, I'm a guy that does my work, okay? I'm not like this guy that's always on my computer just doing games or whatever. But sometimes class gets a little boring. I feel like there should be a little leniency here. Get ready with me while I tell you about the time my bully from fifth grade asked me for money. This story happened like a month ago, and the girl wasn't really my bully, but she was a part of the group that would like give me and my friends a hard time. So it starts in my comment section. She comments, and I probably just came up on her for you page, and she was like, "Oh my gosh, I remember you. What happened to you? Like you stopped coming to school." And I went to online school. That's what happened. But I didn't really tell anybody except my close friends. Anyone else in the school, I just didn't care if they knew or not. But I went to online school in seventh grade, and I knew this girl from fifth grade. She's in my comment section and is like, oh my gosh, like I remember you. How are you? I miss you so much. I knew that girl did not give me a second thought until I showed up on her for you page. She's like, you're so famous now. I'm nowhere near famous. She comments her Instagram and I'm like, okay, she guess she wants me to follow it. So I follow her on Instagram. She's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you followed me back. Like, girl, what is going on? So she DM'd me the next day and like gave me some like sob story about how her mother like wasn't taking care of her or whatever. Or she was like pay taking care of her basic needs, but she like wanted makeup and stuff. And she was like, I really want to do makeup like you. So I was like wondering if you could like send me like $20 just so I can go to like the drug drugstore and get some makeup because i want to get good at it like you and i want to follow your tutorials the entire time she's like texting me over and over about her mom i'm just not responding like i'm looking at the text and i'm opening the dms but i'm just not responding and at this point i'm like okay girl who do you think i am like does she actually think like i'm famous and then two she would literally like almost bully me and my friends in fifth grade and like i guess she thought i forgot about that because i just didn't bring it up because i was just trying to be nice you know so i start checking around to see if this is like the same girl because the way we left terms in fifth grade like she can't sit there and act like everything's all cool and dandy so i started like asking around to see if that's like her real account and stuff like that because like i've been messaged by like fake accounts before and also we're 16 now like in fifth grade we were 10 years old like come on now like why are you asking me for 20 dollars like did she really think this was okay and asked for it over instagram dm i didn't answer her because what do i look like answering that like that was just like so crazy to me and i didn't answer so the next day she responds to my dm again she's like okay i take it back please respond like don't unfollow me and i guess like she thought i blocked her like she was like don't i know you blocked me if if i actually blocked you then why are you texting me because i'm not gonna see it she's like we should meet up soon <laughs> she literally asked to meet up she's like can we meet up so we can like make some tiktoks together because i really need to start making money girl i have like fifty thousand followers i am not famous you're not gonna get any clout from me and she's like asking me to meet up i'm like girl i'm not i'm not doing this and it, at this point i still haven't responded but after she like texted me like days and days i was like okay if you don't stop with this stuff i'm gonna block you and she's like i know you see me because i was open the text and purposefully not answering but once i did respond i was like hey i'm not giving you 20 dollars. we're not gonna meet up and i was just trying to be nice but i do remember you like bullying me <laughs> it's great she was like no that wasn't me that was my friends and i was like you were part of the group that like would like give me and my friends a hard time basically and she was like okay i'm like so sorry but can you follow me on tiktok and she, i was like girl i'm not following you on tiktok after all this and for me to sit there and say that you believe me in fifth grade she's like okay okay but can you follow me on tiktok like no what in the world? Like, I also like to say, like, I'm nowhere near famous. I don't know why she was acting like this. Like, I had a million followers. Like, <laughs> that was basically the end. I ended up blocking her. And then I talked to some of my old friends about it and that I'm still, like, in touch with. And basically, they informed me that nobody talks to her anymore. And she's just, like, kind of like a loner. She's like the loner kid that, like, was weird or whatever. And nobody really talked to her anymore. So I was like, oh, okay. I just thought that was like a weird story <laughs> I'd share because that was just like the weirdest thing that's happened to me over like TikTok or Instagram. Besides me getting hacked, but that's a whole different story for a whole different day. Am I the only one who needs subtitles to watch a show? I genuinely do not understand how people watch shows and movies without subtitles on. If I watch a show with no subtitles, within 30 seconds, I'm lost. I have no idea what's going on. And I speak English, kind of. But without subtitles, it's like I don't even speak English. It's it's concerning. I need the constant stimulation of text on the screen in order to follow in the slightest what's going on in a TV or movie. And I, I there's a chance I still get confused. But yeah, is there anyone else out there like me? Or am I just an idiot?